What's up guys? Today I have a 315 pounder on the show. He's a big boy and it turned out to be a really fun and exciting roll. So I break the grip with two hands and go for an arm drag and I'm always ready if it fails to get the underhook. I always try to grab the lat and getting a 90 degree angle but John does a good job of framing and squaring back up with me. I realize it's going to be hard to take John down especially because he's fresh so I just go for a guard pull. Against big guys I usually try to go for arm drag so I can get around them and take their back rather than sweep them because they're pretty heavy. I pull out the tricep which also breaks John's grip but I couldn't pull it enough to get his elbow across my body. My triangle fails and now I'm at risk of getting my guard passed so I try and turtle but John stops me so instead I Gramby roll to get my hips back in front and use my stiff arm and shrimp out and you'll recognize that from the how to not get your guard pass video. On the bottom I always try and pull people forward with my underhook so I can get their butt off their heels which greatly reduces their base and ability to defend sweeps. It doesn't work though and John grabs my head which is really bad for me from bottom half guard so I try and transition to close guard where it's not going to matter but end up in butterfly guard instead. John is posting with both his arm and his leg. I need to block both in order to get the sweep. Make sure to watch my butterfly guard guide, you'll see this exact technique explained in detail. When I roll in the gi, I almost always try and threaten the cross collar choke from mount. It often opens up the armbar because they either go on their side or bring their arm up to prevent me from getting my second grip. John pushes my leg to the other side so he can try and get to his knees and stack me to escape the armbar, but instead I use it as a frame to prevent him from getting up. This is a really good shot of me, I had a really good hair day. For context, John is an ultra heavyweight amateur champion, a correctional officer, and a beast of a man, and a really good guy. Thank you for being on the show, John. So I kind of learned from last time, it's going to be really hard to take John down, so instead I just start on my guard because that way you guys can see me and my guard against a big dude. I'm continually trying to pull his arm across to take his back and now I try to do a John Wayne sweep but it doesn't quite work and I get right back up to butterfly guard. I shrimp out because I know a butterfly sweep is going to be hard to do because John adjusts by keeping his butt close to his heels. And that's what you need to do to have good base. If you keep getting swept you got to think to yourself, is your butt close to your heels? Because John is over committing with his overhook, I start thinking triangle, but I learned from last time the triangle might not work, so instead I use the triangle setup for the armbar. Especially because John's a big guy, I want to make sure that he does not put my knees to my chest and stack me. You need a 90 degree angle to get the leg over the head on an armbar properly, so I use his leg to help me change my angle. Again, I need to prioritize not getting stacked, so I keep my hips in the air, and then I go two hands on the wrist to finish the armbar. I think two hands on the wrist is the best grip. There's a really cool takedown coming up and the one I use all the time against big guys because it's low risk and high reward, it's a fake guard pull ankle pick. So I take a grip on John and I pretend to pull guard by bringing my foot forward which causes John to step and then I go for my ankle pick. I drop my knee to the mat so I can reach and that's the main reason for changing your level in any wrestling so you can actually reach. I staple John's arm, meaning I have my foot on one side and my knee on the other, and I want a far side arm bar. One thing I like to do is to put my foot on his arm to block it. That way when I go for my far side arm bar, he can't connect his hands together because he can't reach his hands. Especially against someone strong, you really want to make sure they cannot connect their hands together for an arm bar because it's going to be a lot of work to break the grip, and again, we don't want to work hard, we want to work smart. Look how I slide my elbow up towards his wrist, that way he can't turn it side to side. And that's a really important thing in arm bars is that you have control the wrist and they can't turn it. Even if they do try and escape, it doesn't matter which direction they move or turn, you should be able to still finish from any angle as long as you have control of the wrist. The reason why I was able to get the ankle pick on John was because he didn't have control of my lapel, but now he does and it's proving really hard to get that grip off of me. So instead I just pull guard and try to sweep him right away, but it doesn't work. Remember my 20 tips video, always break grips, that's really important. If they have grips on you, they're controlling you. By removing John's grip from my lapel, it's a lot easier to maneuver his arm around to where I want it. But I abandon the grip and go towards John's lapel so I can better break his posture. I pause for a second because I think that the camera woman can get a better angle. And guys, make sure to thank Petrina for all her hard work filming these. She does a great job, but sometimes I gotta step in and be director. I'm really trying to prevent John from getting a grip on me so I can freely move his arm around. I want to bring John's hand towards my pocket and get the elbow bent. I need that bent elbow for omoplata. My right foot on the bicep is keeping the triangle ready as well as making it harder for John to square up into me. The omoplata feels like it's not going to work so instead I have a cool trick where I let people try and escape their arm and as I do I trap their hand in my bicep. I normally use it to finish with a belly down arm bar but John is able to get top position. I circle my hand back in so I can get his arm trapped in my armpit again. Now a little bit of pressure will go a long way and I get the tap. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you haven't already, as well as hit the notification bell. You know, I really appreciate it. John shoots in for a double leg, and I'm just doing everything I can to stay on my feet by hopping around until I can break the grip on my leg. 
Because John shoots in from a little far out, I'm able to anticipate it and shoot my hips forward to stop him in his tracks. My left hand stays on his hips to prevent him from getting his hips closer to me. Now I hop on one foot until I'm able to make enough space with my hips and break the grip on my leg. Front headlock type chokes can be difficult to do in the gi, so instead I just come around for the back take. I climb onto John's back and try to pull him to the side, causing him to post out. I take advantage of it and do my Ronda Rousey armbar, pulling John's leg over my head so I can finish easier. Once you have the shin over the head, you want to do a strong hip switch which helps with momentum. Grabbing the leg to pull across your head will put you in an easier finishing position, especially if they have their hands together and need to do a grip break. I'm sure it has different names, but I call it the Ronda Rousey armbar just because she hit it so many times in her career and I originally learned it from watching one of her instructionals on YouTube many years ago. Back to the stand-up, I'm just trying to move John around so I can create a reaction I can take advantage of. It'd be much easier if John didn't have a grip on my lapel, but I don't think I'll have any success breaking grips, so I just pull guard. I try to do a scissor sweep, but I can't get John's butt off his heels enough. You gotta remember that tip, it makes getting sweeps so much easier. I finally get the arm drag I've been waiting for, but instead of taking the back, I see an opportunity for another Ronda Rousey armbar. This time, John's wise to it and grabs his gi to prevent his arm from being extended, which opens up the back take. Sometimes you gotta pick your poison. This is something Thing I always try and do, pulling out the slack in the lapel with one hand and feeding it to the other. I take my hooks out because I want to get a better angle, a 90 degree angle which is generally better for finishing bone arrow chokes. This is a modified bone arrow choke, meaning I don't have control of his pants, I don't have my hooks in, but there's lots of ways to finish. I just felt this way was the path of least resistance. It might be hard to see because it's subtle, but I'm using my body to push John's head into the choke. The Mount Escape video is coming, I'm just having a lot of fun with the rolling commentaries, plus we have a kids camp this week at the gym, which makes it hard to find time to film. Thank you for your patience. I cover my pants so I can take grips as John tries to establish his. He doesn't come in though, so I just try to sit up to take grips, but John has a pass plan. I've got my phantom hook in which is that foot on the bicep. It's great for keeping distance and setting up triangles I'm trying some of the same stuff I had success with before but John adjusts well and doesn't let me get my 90 degree angle this time Look what I'm doing as I'm trying to get something going. I'm trying to get dominant grips. My hand and my foot make it hard for John to grab my head, which would be a very dominant grip for John. Grips are where every attack starts. If I have good grips, I'm more likely to win, and vice versa. My guard is compromised, so I make sure to keep a frame to prevent John from getting closer and using my right leg to prevent him from coming around to my left. I want to prioritize my arm being straight so it acts as a frame and uses my skeletal strength rather than being bent where I'll have to rely on my muscular strength. I find my opportunity to turn to turtle and do a sit out so I can re-establish my guard. And I'm sure you all remember how I feel about turtles. I don't hit it on John successfully, but this is a really cool triangle entry, much like a scissor sweep, but we bring the knee over the arm instead of under the arm and bring the leg over for the triangle. Look one more time, what a thing of beauty. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you're still here right now, let me know your favorite sequence or technique in this video, or simply leave a fist bump. Thanks again for watching.